Hi, this is Paul Knightley, Senior Meteorologist at Meteo Group here in London. I wanted to take a quick look at the expected weather conditions for the uh, partial solar eclipse which we're going to have on Friday morning, Friday the 20th of March. So if we have a quick look at the map of uh, where the eclipse is going to be visible, well, British Isles is in here. The total part, the Umbra as it's known, is not going to uh, affect the British Isles. It's going to go past the Faroe Islands over Svalbard and actually end up at the North Pole, which that is unusual in itself. Um, we're within the partial area of uh, totality, so we'll see um, up to around 90% or so of the sun actually covered, maybe even as high as 98% as you head further up into the northwest of Scotland. A satellite picture from Thursday afternoon shows that actually, had we had the eclipse today, we'd have had a very good view of it from parts of Ireland across southwest England, Wales into parts of northern England. But any of you down in the southeast of England would have had a very grey day today, lots of uh, low cloud, mist, and uh, fog even around some of the west, uh, the eastern coast of Kent. And we've also got a lot of cloud up to the northwest of Scotland here, which is a frontal system um, that's bringing some patchy rain in that part of the world. And what's going to happen in the next sort of 12 to 18 hours is that we expect some of this cloud to continue to break up in the south and some of these clearer skies extend down a little bit as we go through the coming night. But this cloud up in the north is just going to advance a little bit more southwards as we'll see in a moment. So here's a computer model depiction of the cloud at three o'clock this afternoon. You can see the shape of it across parts of central and eastern England is actually fairly similar to what we just looked at on the satellite picture. These purple colorings showing low cloud the blue shadings up here are more medium and high level cloud in the atmosphere. Not necessarily always as thick, but still enough to block out the view of the sun. And if we run it through to six o'clock this evening, then nine o'clock this evening, we see how this cloud is starting to break up down in the south. But some of this medium and high cloud is continuing to shift southeastwards across northern parts of the British Isles. Go through midnight, 3 a.m., and then 6 a.m. we see how actually there's a lot of clear skies, just some patchy medium level cloud here across parts of the southwest into northern England, but still a potential feed of low cloud across southeast England, across Kent especially, parts of eastern East Anglia, and unfortunately quite a lot of cloud feeding into northern parts. Now the maximum eclipse is around about half past nine in the morning. Um, if this is the view at nine o'clock in the morning, and if we were to believe this model exactly, we would see that parts of South Wales, South West England, through much of the Midlands, Central Southern England into portions of uh, Lincolnshire would be best, best place to view the eclipse with rather thicker cloud over the far southeast corner and a lot of cloud coming in across northern areas. What we actually expect is that this cloud is probably going to be a little bit more extensive down here and we also would have some clear breaks perhaps to the lee of high ground in some of the northern areas here so i think for many northwestern parts it's going to be fairly disappointing quite a lot of cloud feeding in and it may well be a bit disappointing in the southeast with the highest chance i think in some of these southwestern areas just before we get too excited about that model this is just a slightly different depiction of it using different colors but where you can see the green land that's where the model has clear skies where you've got lots of dark colors that's where it's cloudy this is another weather model of the atmosphere um, for the same time on friday morning for nine o'clock friday morning and you can see a lot more cloud over even the wales in the southwest with just a few limited breaks here so Unfortunately, it's still far from certain exactly how much cloud there's going to be. I think what is fairly certain is that northern areas will have quite a lot of cloud tomorrow, unfortunately. But I think some of these central and southern areas, some people are going to be pretty lucky. The way to find out, well, get on the internet and look for some satellite pictures early in the morning. See if you can see where the clear skies are. If you really want to see it, you want to head out there to where the skies are clear. It may well look a little bit like this. This is actually an eclipse from Texas back in 2012. Um, if you're lucky enough to see it, you may well see the sun looking a little bit like that. The, the orientation will be slightly different, but that's the kind of thing we're expecting, not a full coverage of the sun. And just before I go, just one final word of warning, which I'm sure you've heard before, but it's worth reiterating that when any part of the sun is visible, it's still extremely bright. It's as bright as the whole sun, of course, even if in a small area. So you need to have some form of eye protection, whether it's eclipse glasses or whether it's a sheet of special material, something very, very strong. Sunglasses aren't good enough. Just going out on your own with your eyes isn't good enough. You're going to be in danger of uh, damaging your eyesight. And binoculars and telescopes are a definite no-no unless they've got complete protection on themselves, um, which is unlikely unless you have professional grade equipment. So get some of these and get out and you might have a good view of the eclipse tomorrow morning.